we are here back with 8th of February's Godly Blessing. Think about it. What would please God? Is it the fruits? Is it the amount of sweets which you offer Him? Or is it your divinity and purity which you imbibe within yourself so that you become comfortable enough to even face Him? So that's what we're going to talk about today. And God is mentioning something very beautiful. He's teaching us the method to come closer to Him. So God says in this blessing, May you be soul conscious and with the personality and royalty of purity come close to the Father. Just as physical personalities make souls body conscious. You see an actor and you like, I want to be like him. Or I want to be like her, right? Many people have that kind of aspiration. I wish I could sing like her. I wish I could dance like her or him. So just as physical personalities make souls body conscious, in the same way, the personality of purity makes you soul conscious. That means you're going beyond the nature of the body bodily name, fame and attainments and brings you close to the Father because Father or God or Allah is bodiless. He's just a spark, a light, just as shown over here. So God says the personality of purity pulls souls towards purity and the royalty of purity frees you from praying, from paying any royalty in the land of Dharmaraj. Now, dharma and Raj. So how much control did you have or Raj did you have over your five senses or were you doing bad karmas through your five senses as a soul? So if you were the king of your five senses, then you had control and you use the dharma. Dharma means knowledge, purity, peace, bliss, happiness, joy and power to do those karmas through your five senses. So you used dharma and you used the karma through the five senses elemental body and the five senses and if you were using them through purity then you don't have to face the dharmaraj dharmaraj is the one who takes the accounts in the end as has been mentioned by different religious groups so god says you don't have to face me on the basis of this royalty you will be able to come into the future royal family so god then takes the accounts of whether you used your five elemental body to do the right karma through purity or did you have any kind of vices and on the basis of that we get to choose whether we come on earth when there is heaven on earth or we come on earth when there is hell on earth that means heaven has finished day has finished and darkness has started on earth so that's the choice which we get to do and the choice is right now it's not that god gives you a choice God is already giving us a choice to use purity and divinity and royalty right now. And God says, on the basis of this royalty, you'll be able to come into the future royal family. So in golden age or heaven on earth, there'll be kings and queens and there'll be the royal family. With this personality, soul conscious children become spiritual mirrors to give visions of the father soul conscious children become spiritual mirrors not physical mirrors where you can see your body but spiritual mirrors to give visions of the father so once you become soul conscious people don't focus on your physicality or your physical looks or the wealth and the things which you have but they focus on your personality that is a soul and we are here to showcase the personality as a soul so that they can see our creator the father through us through our personality and you can do that by being soul conscious and the knowledge of soul consciousness is being given by god himself through the medium of brahma kamaris and that is brahma the new knowledge the new creation come over and learn this beautiful knowledge om shanti to all of you